Hi, I'm Dr. John Weston, and I practice at Scripps Center for Dental Care in La Jolla, California. So this case presentation is a little bit unique. Uh, the patient demanded some high-end aesthetics to replace her front teeth, and her challenge was in the posterior. She had missing teeth in posterior, and she did not have enough bone for implants. So you can see how easy it is to powder. It's really fast to powder. It only takes 30 seconds or so to powder even in an entire arch. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start our upper scan. And as soon as we complete our upper scan, we'll go to the lower. But a lot of times with this new design, the smaller hand piece, I can actually scan sitting down, which is kind of nice. I can stay in this position. And usually we can get a, an entire scan in a couple minutes. We have a very good patient here who's sitting real still, not us to do this, but most patients don't mind. This process is significantly shorter overall than it would be to do rubber impressions. It's really surprised me in, in the sense that it's improved my efficiency, my accuracy. It allows me to deliver restorations in a shorter amount of time. So in the past, you know, price has been a big issue with digital impressioning. I mean, most of the systems out there are $30,000 or more. With the price point at this being around $12,000, it really doesn't make sense not to do it. So whenever I'm doing opposing arches, I always find that I'm usually a little quicker with an opposing arch just because I'm not worried about prep margins and things like that. I'm mostly getting occlusal anatomy. You can see that just took 10 seconds, and we'll do a couple of bite registrations just to make sure we're happy with what we've got. So this is our upper arch preparation scan, and you can see that we recorded all nine teeth, including the implant. On the implant, uh, we placed a little cotton pellet in the in the opening of the, of the zirconia abutment. So that's a permanently placed um, zirconia abutment on that tooth, and then we scanned all the other preps. Um, now what we do after you've got your prep scan done is you want to go in and look at each prep and determine if the margins are clear in the way you want them. So you can see we go down in here and we can look at uh, one of our restorations, number five here, and we can check the margin on that. And you can see that we can see the margin real clearly there, and that's really what we're looking for is to be able to read that margin and be able to see it and so that we know when the lab goes in they can actually mark that margin. On the lower scan, basically, we just wanted to again capture um, all the occlusion and uh, anterior teeth, and we did that. Um, in a, a little bit shorter amount of time because there's no margins uh, in there to worry about. And then um, articulated, this is what the model looks like or what the model will look like. And this will be sent off today with a prescription for uh, the restorations that we want to do. So what we'll do is we'll start in the center and we just try and work our way around. And these are just straight off the, uh, the SLA model, straight into the mouth. We do a dry try-in so we can make sure that we have good marginal fit. Very typical for my digitally scanned cases, the restorations fit really precise with minimal adjustment, if any at all. When we bond these, we're going to use um, a fourth generation bonding adhesive, Scotch Bond multi-purpose, and a translucent 3M veneer cement. This is called a rapid veneer seating technique where we seat all these in one motion. We use two lights. We set the lights for 20 seconds. The case fit beautiful. I didn't adjust a single restoration. So for more information on the True Definition scanner, please visit 3m.com slash true definition.